Starting a business from scratch can be an extremely difficult challenge. I had worked for H&R Block for a number of years before leaving the company to become the chief operating officer of the major block franchise in Virginia. Uh, in May of 1984, myself and the owners of that franchise founded the franchise for H&R Block for the country of Brazil, which was an interesting experience. However, after three years with the franchise, the owner reneged on his agreement to share equity with me, and we wound up settling out of court, and I found myself in Richmond, Virginia with two children and a wife and, uh, and no job, and I didn't want to re relocate to another city, so I felt that the only option for me was self-employment. That's when I founded People's Income Tax. We opened in 1987 with three locations and expanded rapidly over the next several years to 26 offices in the greater Richmond area. Um, we grew too fast. We, we were recognized that among the Richmond's uh, rising 25 fastest growing companies, but we were undercapitalized. And we wound up um, facing extreme competition and ultimately we lost over the next five or six years about 60% of our market share uh, and came close to bankruptcy. We had to reorganize in 1992. As a result, I had to give up 50% of my ownership. Um, and we retrenched to nine locations. So um, the lessons that I've learned in starting my own business is that entrepreneurs tend to be overly optimistic um, and overestimate the revenue projections and not have a worst case scenario plan to fall back on. Being an entrepreneur can also be very lonely. You have no superior and no peers. Seeking advice from experienced and successful entrepreneurs can help you to avoid costly mistakes. Uh, and make better decisions. Perseverance is the most important factor in succeeding as an entrepreneur. You can survive almost any business crisis if you get back on your feet and never give up.